Machine learning and AI have become very common buzzwords lately. They have become so common that people sometimes use them interchangeably. Instead of saying AI, they say machine learning to seem cooler or, or instead of saying machine learning, they say AI. And realistically, the question is, can we use these two definitions interchangeably? Are they related? And if yes, to what extent? In this video, I will try to bring the clarity to these two definitions so that instead of being just buzzwords to you, they actually bring some sort of meaning in terms of definitions, what they stand for. So there is machine learning and there is AI. Machine learning is often referred as ML and AI is actually also known as artificial intelligence. To start with, machine learning is a subset of AI. So when we say AI, artificial intelligence, which is in itself is a very broad topic. It's not something that came to us with chat GPT. No, machine learning has been around from the beginning, well, beginning to middle of 20th century. And it has been in discussion even earlier, but realistically, the more definitive work on it has been done from that period of time. And ChatGPT is one of the byproducts of artificial intelligence. AI includes machine learning. It's a subset. But AI is a much bigger definition. AI includes machine learning. It includes human intelligence. It includes understanding the natural language. The ultimate goal of AI is to be as intelligent as humans as intelligent or more intelligent as humans. This includes that it can have human-like intelligence and it can understand natural language. Under natural language, I mean, instead of having the robotic understanding of the language, it can understand the subtle complexities of the language, subtle complexities of the words that come together in each language and how we say them. The words that are said in a different way can be understood in a different way. And the work of artificial intelligence is to understand what is actually meant and reply to the person in the same way. And at the same time, artificial intelligence relies on rules, right? It has certain predefined rules that it can play by, similar to ChatGPT. For example, if you ask ChatGPT to, have, to make a funny joke about certain religion, more often than not, it would say that, yes, okay, I will give you one funny joke, but normally it's not nice to joke about someone's religion. And it's because ChatGPT relies on rules. AI relies on rules. Machine learning, on the other hand, is a dumber, quote-unquote, dumber version of AI. It relies on data. We feed data to machine learning. For example, we have a data that baby one, Adam, has two legs, two arms. Baby two, Jane, has two legs, two arms. Baby three, has two legs, two arms. And we feed this data to machine learning. Machine learning is nothing but an algorithm. It's a code, the bunch of code, the algorithm. And we feed this data to this code. And what can machine learning, the code, deduct from this? It can deduct that human babies have different names, right? This is Jack, Jane, and etc. Second thing, it deducts that human babies can have two legs normally and two arms. And it can say, generally, human babies have different names. They have two legs and they have two arms. It can make deductions from the data. If we're talking about the supervised machine learning, supervised, we provide the algorithm, the labels. So for example, if the price is below three, the price of the stock. It's bad. We provide the labor. Bad is the price is below three. And then we provide another label. Good. The price is above three. And based on that, my, the algorithm starts learning. And when we provide different stock prices to this algorithm, it then tells us that out of the 100 stock prices that you have provided me, 50 were bad, meaning that the price was below $3, and 50 were good, price was above $3. This is the supervised machine learning. We have fed it labels, we have fed it data, we provided everything. However, when we talk about unsupervised machine learning, 
uh, those who are after buzzwords, unsupervised version is cooler. We don't provide the data, the algorithm with any labels. And in machine learning, it readjusts the algorithm based on the patterns that it sees. For example, we feed it the data with different prices and it comes to the conclusion that the average price of the data is three and the prices below average are low because they are below average and the prices above average are high because they are higher but we don't give these labels we don't give anything it's just based on the data that it analyzes it comes to conclusions of what it means and this is called unsupervised we don't supervise it and then at the end, we get the updated algorithm that it has updated itself, saying that look at the data and look at the average. If it's below average, it's bad. If it's above average, it's good. It already knows what to do. So instead of us looking at the results and then going to adjust the algorithm, the algorithm readjusts itself. And that's very helpful because that helps us to sort of not to work on each algorithm, on each piece of code by, by ourselves. That's why machine learning is a, is a buzzword lately. It learns in a similar way as a child learns. So if I tell to a baby that this is water, right? In, then in another setting, I say again, this is water, this is water. By analyzing different patterns, by seeing water in a bath, by seeing water in, in its bottle, in, in the cup, in the glass, they analyze these patterns and they deduct. It's a supervised learning, by the way. We give the label, what is water, to the baby. And the baby is like, this is water. I analyze this pattern and I know what it means. In machine learning, we have a goal to learn, readjust, learn from patterns. We don't have higher hopes from machine learning. It's a subset of AI. It readjusts itself, which is a lot. So for example, if it's a factory machine, that is creating the, for example, the forms, the pasta from the DAO, and it expects 300 grams. And then by looking at different DAOs, it sees that the thickness of pasta can change depending on the weight of the DAO. And at the end, by learning at the, from the weight of the DAO and thickness of pasta, it readjusts its patterns depending on the weight of the DAO. So we expect it not only to learn, but readjust if needed. And we expect it to achieve a success in specific tasks. Whether it is the big data, we expect it to analyze the data and make some conclusions based on the patterns, whether we expect a report, or we expect some sort of uh, analysis of the stock prices, investment portfolios, we only have one task for it, right? Whether it's unsupervised learning or supervised learning. With AI, it's very different as it's a broader definition. We expect it to act like humans, to have a human-like intelligence. A very famous mathematician, Alan Turing, he cre created a test for computers. If computer answers on all the questions correctly, as human would answer, it means that the computer has a human-like behavior. However, it relies on rules. Why? You might ask, why do we need rules? We are free. Computers should have a free will as well as humans. Well, that's not quite true. When computer is playing chess, so imagine I am the human and in front of me it's a computer who is playing with me. The computer can have a goal, win, obviously. And I have a goal, win. But we have a rules. We are winning by playing in chess. However, computer can create some fake sounds, some gunshots, some uh, disturbing sounds so that I feel disturbed and I can't play correctly. I can't think clearly because there are sounds coming from different sides and it impedes my ability to play better and to win. But when we tell to the system that you have the rules, you have to win by playing chess. You can't do anything else. You can't do unethical stuff. And this, 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 this is unethical. These rules can be generalized. That's why it's important that artificial intelligence is based on rules. Human often, they often joke saying that what if computers overtake the earth, overtake humans in terms of intelligence and, and by power? It can happen if computers do not rely on rules. Artificial intelligence relies on rules, whereas Machine learning is focused on one task, mostly one task. It readjusts itself and it looks at the patterns. And we're expecting it to get the human-like intelligence 
by understanding the natural language. When ChatGPT, you ask something from ChatGPT on different topics, a range of topics, they come up with an answer to you and they understand whether you're talking in a passive aggressive tone, you can try it, or you're talking in a normal tone because by writing, it can judge your tone as well. Meaning that this is the system that understands your natural language, it processes it in a good way. I hope this video helped you to clarify the difference between AI and machine learning and understand that machine learning is a quote unquote dumber subset of AI, which is very helpful to us. There are more implementations of machine learning at the moment than of AI, whereas AI is a broader topic about the human-like intelligence that computers need to develop by following rules, firstly, by understanding our language and by being smart. Thank you for watching me today. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any other technical topics in mind that you would like me to cover, leave them in the comment section down below. Bye.